Hello everyone, welcome back to Epify Lab and this is an ongoing series on Laravel and Vue.js full stack load development tutorial series. So we have done the admin panel and there are some little tasks to be done in the admin panel so we will do it uh, at some point. Now let's go ahead and do the front end and do the setup okay. So if you are new to my channel please go ahead subscribe and share your available feedback because I'm going to develop lots of awesome real world project okay so no more introduction let's go ahead directly into the action so let's install a new project and set up the front end as much as you can in this video so we can say laravel new full stock um maybe i don't want to have a hyphen with the domain uh we can say front let's go ahead and see Perfect, it's getting installed. And you will also um, get to know what is the uh, blade syntax, which I'm not very much used to. It, so it can be a little, it can be a little problematic uh, at some point because I'm too much used to calling in Nux.js and Vue.js, okay? And uh, not so much used to using Laravel Blade, but let's go ahead and I will try to explain uh, the normal blade things as much as I can. So here we go, the application uh, is ready for us and it's a uh, uh, full stack at front. So we should get uh, the welcome page now. So let's go ahead, full stack front dot localhost. I should get the welcome page, please. Full stack dot localhost. Okay, so. I'm not sure full stack dot localhost was giving me some error. I will fix that. But you see, we have the Laravel installation completely successful. Now let's go ahead and try to understand the Laravel layout structure using your Blade uh, syntax. Okay, so let's go ahead and if I recompile you back again, how these things work. So it's uh, it works like uh, first it comes to the web.php. And you are hitting the um, slash route and it's returning the welcome view. So if we go to the welcome view inside resources folder, we see this whole structure. Okay, so this is the page that is being rendered in your front end. So let's remove all this code from here and start from scratch. And um, let's say let's try to add uh, h1. Mm, let's say blah blah. We should see something like that so that's nice now let's go ahead and actually start uh, building the project okay so first of all layout folder and then inside that layout we're going to use uh, uh, main.blade.php or whatever maybe we can say app.blade.php and then we're going to have some partials so partials are uh, partials folders and then we can kind of going to have header dot blade dot php similarly we're going to have um, the footer dot blade dot php and yes another partial we should use which is a uh, navigation and we could uh, uh, remove that part as well but let's use it actually nav dot blade dot php and I'm um, uh, if you guys know much better ways to do these things, please uh, comment and share your valuable feedback with us. And yeah, of course, if you know already that we are giving free support in our Facebook group through our Facebook group. So if you have questions under regarding understanding any of the concept, go ahead in our Facebook group and I will try to explain when I get time. Also, there are a lot of cool guys who will do the helps. Okay. Mm, okay, so we have the. Uh, we have the partials, we have the layout, so let's, uh, in partial, let's have an script tag with source, script source, so some this file, okay, it doesn't matter right now because we are trying to understand the concept first because it's important and then once we understand the concept, I will replace all these things with a real um, code, okay, but never mind. Uh, for the header, so we have uh, link CSS. Okay, so we have the link CSS. Okay, some style.css, it's already there. 
and for navbar let's say you have ul li this is item 1 so you could have item 2 that's okay and we got this treating uh, partial uh, code written now go to the layout and here we will define all of our um, page okay so we have the title header so inside head we will include okay laravel has something called include and include actually works simple just like a normal php include okay so if you want to include the header you have to go to the partials folder and then you can include so the way it works is you need to write the folder name partials dot um, what do we have here header Okay, so partial.header we have, and same thing goes for the uh, folder actually. Okay, so we have partial.folder here. Perfect, right? Now, the original content start from here. So, what we can do is we can say div and we can take a div of id, id app because it can be useful for our. Bejs things, so let's go ahead and use this one instead. Now, here this is the welcome dot bleed. Let's say this is a page, or uh, it can be like let's say let's rename it to the uh, home dot bleed dot php. Let's say it's a home page, and in this home page, what we are going to have, um, let's say. Uh, we are going to first uh, use this master layout, the app layout. So how do we use this in this page? So in order to use that, we use uh, extend and we use layout. And we have to go inside the layout folder and then app. So we are uh, using this code, this line of code. We actually imported all this code inside this home.blade.php file. Okay, so perfect. So we are fine right now. Let's go and test the um, result and now it's not welcome anymore it's home so let's go ahead and run it and uh, we don't have anything in our content so we what we can do is uh, okay never mind let's see the structure first if we have so here we go you see i have the link added here i have this uh, javascript file here and i have the simple deep okay so that's really awesome which means it's completely working okay now let's change this title dynamically okay so what you can do is this um we can say okay project um whatever okay, let's say um the title we can yield is like title with the key title and here we can actually pass the title from any page so we can say section uh not like this Sometime I don't know why it goes so quickly, and we don't need to stop it here. Section name title, and we can pass some values here, okay? And the values can be the title of the page, okay? So our awesome home page title. So let's go ahead and try it now. You see, our homepage, uh, our document has been changed to our awesome homepage title. So you can pass the variable from your child to the master uh, layout page. And now, let's see, you want to have um, here, uh, let's, uh, let's include the um, uh, partials.nav first, and then uh, we will be actually partial.nav, and then we could use... Uh, we could actually yell the content so yell um, main content and uh, let's see how it works main content so how do we do that so similarly you can pass the main content here simply just like this and it should work so if I make it like h1 this is the main content now let's go and check it out now you see we have uh, view page service uh, uh, 
and yes and use like this uh, this way but instead of this way what we can do is that um, uh, I think this should be the one yes here you go we have h1 here but this is extremely ugly and stupid idea actually so what you can do is you can start the section and you can actually in this section here okay so here we go so the here you start the main content section and you in the section and you write all of your HTML code right inside uh, inside here so this uh, is the h1 content actually and you will be updating this content from now on and your whatever the page you write every page will extend this layout okay I hope you understand guys so this is the content now so basically what's happening now again if I recap is that you are going to when we're uh, hitting the slash route then it's return you the home.blade.php and then it called the extend layouts app what does it mean that it's taking this page uh, first and in that page okay we are having one variable with yield and then again we are including per header so what does that first yield mean is that we are uh, printing a value with a title key title so we have the section and passing this value and we are printing it here and then we uh, and then we have partial dot header so it's including a file and its content from partial folder and the header okay and then it uh, include the partial navigation uh, items here and then it include main content okay so whenever you want to do a new page and you just copy these things and um, let's say we have about a blade dot php file and I'm not sure whether I'm going to um, have all those blade files because uh, sometime we might uh, require the uh, ACO benefit. So I tell you in my earlier series the full uh, admin system I made in complete uh, single page application, which is Spa. And for the front end, I would use definitely the Vue.js, but I will uh, use the blade syntax a lot more because I want to make the blog to be seo friendly as much as i can okay but here's the thing we could use complete spa then we can make the blog items to be seo friendly uh, using the blade and or we can make the blade and make use of the vue.js the other way around so it doesn't matter which way we go uh let's say uh i will try to figure out what to, what can be the good idea to go ahead Thank you guys for watching this video um, please like subscribe and share available feedback with us okay thank you have a nice time